what? They had a sale on double stuff for you. Cookies today, two for the price of one. So I picked up four. And I got us some chicken, some of your favorite gummy worms, your favorite nuts, nice bottle of wine from later. Did I have a day today? You know, I'm early. What's going on? Is my check here? No. Bills, bills, bills. Why would my check be here? Hey, what's going on? Hello. Hi. Nikki. I got a letter. A letter? What is it? I don't know. Did you open it? No. Who's it from? Don't know. No return address? No. So? So? So you can open it? No. Then how are you going to find out? I don't want to find out. <laughs> That's silly. Don't you know what's going on? Don't you know what terrible things are happening out there? In the hallways? In the world. The world is teeming with horrors. Nightmares. Plagues. Real and metaphorical. People are enduring suffering and deprivations of the body and soul on a scale we can scarcely fathom. Why then? Why not me? Because I'm special? No. I always knew this day was coming. It was only a matter of time. Sooner or later they would zero in, trial and error, process of elimination, and now it's here, it's right here. This letter with no return address, no distinguishing features, nothing about it but an inescapable aura of doom. Why was it sent to me? Why today? Because it's my turn. Nikki, I don't want to listen to this anymore. I just want to fuck. Does it make sense to be beaten to death? To be raped by your parents? To be bashed in the head with a hammer when you're waiting for the subway? No? But it's happening right here, right in this very city, right this very minute. You could be walking down the street, minding your own business, whistling your happy tune, enveloped in your own cozy cocoon of ignorance, and suddenly you're face down on the sidewalk, drowning in your own blood, cut down by a box cutter, or a bullet, or a, a runaway cab, or an exploding gas main, anything. For no reason. I mean, it, does that make sense? Is that logical? Nikki, but you're talking as if it were logical. You're talking as if it was part of some huge plot, predestined, when in fact, everything you just mentioned is completely random and uncontrollable. Yes, bad things happen, but good things happen too. Look, I know you've been a little depressed lately and things haven't been breaking the way you wanted, but things will get better, I promise. Can you please stop imagining the worst? Let's have a good time, Nikki. Come on, forget about it. Come on, Nikki. Please. Come on. I never told you this, Danielle. About a month ago, I was taking the subway home, and I was stopped by a man who said he was a detective. He he showed me this picture of this little girl, and he wondered if I'd seen her and said she was missing. I said no, I hadn't, which is true. And then he asked me for my name and my address. My name and my address. I mean, I didn't know anything about the case or anything. I mean, why would you want to get in touch with me? Standard police procedure, I suppose? Standard police procedure. Standard police procedure. Standard police procedure? Why is that use bears all mine? I told him my name was Arthur Welks. I thought I lived across town on West 24th Street. He probably knew I was lying, but I didn't care. Oh, then I came home, Danny, and, and I turned on the news they're talking about the girl. It turns out they had found her that morning already dead in the sewer. You remember that story. Oh, yeah, her poor parents. But that morning, you see, he's asking me where she is, and he already knew. Well, what does that tell you? Maybe they're out looking for the guy. But they caught the guy. It was that fucking piano teacher. Maybe that they picked him up that afternoon before he they talked to me. Maybe, story. maybe you're getting a fucking mileage out of that word. He wasn't looking for the girl. It had nothing to do with the girl. He was looking for me. I'm going to get some wine. You want some? I think you need some. <laughs> okay. 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 Try this. A week ago, I get a phone call from this woman who's trying to sell me a credit card, like Platinum Visa. You know my credit history. That doesn't matter. They call everybody. Oh, that's the beauty of this whole operation. It's all explainable. They're offering this amazing 4% APR, consolidate your debts, blah, blah, blah. So I thought, what have I got to lose? You know what I mean? Not thinking... And then they switch me over to this other woman who is this independent verifier to collect the information. Anyway, the next thing you know, I'm giving her my name and my address. But, but I realized where I came up. But it's too late. She has it. She knows where I live. 
they need your name and address if they're going to send you a credit card. They're not sending me a credit card. You see, it was a trick. They wanted my address, my location. And here it is. Plain to stay on the fucking envelope. 4% APR. 4%, I think. <laughs> between the detective and the credit card company? It was the same voice. <laughs> same voice! Nikki, the detective was a man, the verifier was a woman! It, it was two different people, maybe, but it was the same voice! <laughs> you don't understand. Nikki, I want to understand, but you got to make some sense. <laughs> Door open. So go answer it. Mm -hmm. 
Why do I gotta go answer? I don't wanna go answer that. I don't to go answer it. Well, we can stay in here forever. We got Oreos up the ass. <laughs> fuck! Now I'm starting to think like you. What the fuck? You know what? I'm not afraid. I got this. It's from L.L. Bean. Sure it is. Like, what the fuck would I order from L.L. Bean? <laughs> no. It's for me. Oh. What did you get? Gore-Tex Makalux. Seersucker shorts. You didn't get anything, did you? Well, aren't you going to open it? Love writes a letter.